Hi, this is a short video talking about uh, this model where we use an equation uh, to equation block to calculate some stats across multiple runs and write them back to uh, the database. Uh, so <clears throat> basically this is a simple uh, single server model where uh, we are writing data from information block uh, and from the exit block uh, to the database. And, and basically what that takes in is a number of uh, <clears throat> customers that are going through the process and the average cycle time. And so that that's get written in the first five rows corresponding to <clears throat> each run, each of the five runs. Uh, and in the equation block, what we are doing is uh, reading um, at the end of the five runs, we read all the five rows uh, for both the number of customers that have gone through and the average cycle time, we add them all up and create averages that we write back in the sixth row. So to um, first to read them, uh, basically I, I'm reading uh, the database index, table index, field index, and uh, for uh, field index for a number of customers and field index for the average uh, cycle time. Uh, and then <clears throat> I basically start with record one in the equation block down here. And then basically here is the check if this will be done only if the run number is five. So we, this is the end of end run number five. And why is it end? Because in options, I have selected at the end of simulation, uh, end sim. Um, uh, and so <clears throat> this is using end sim because I'm making sure that database uses final calc. So we have two options, NSIM uh, final calc. I take NSIM option because in the database, let me just go back to, in the database we are writing um, at the end of the run at final calc. Uh, so NSIM is after final calc, so it ensures that we will be only doing that after the database has been written. So back to this uh, equation information here. <clears throat> so, so basically I set the record number to one, I'll initialize some variables, check if run number is five, then I do a while loop. While the record number is less than six, so that's essentially mean it will look at one through five uh, and then stop. Uh, so I read the number of customers for each run. And so for that, I'm using this form, uh, this function a get as number so get is the really the real uh, read function uh, from the database and that's why we had run the data read in the database index the table index and the customer number index and we use the record number so the record number we start with one and then go through five similarly we read, read the average cycle time from the uh, average cycle time field and the same record number we keep adding them in the total count for both variables uh, and once we have the while loop is done, we calculate averages. And these averages are then referred to in this DB write value. And the way you select the DB write values, uh, basically you select the DB write value here, and in here you go, and then it will show you different databases you have, tables you have, uh, so it shows you where you wanna write. So in this case, uh, the average, first average I wanna write in the column six, and I say select. Uh, so, so that's how you'll um, identify where it's written out. Okay, one thing that is perhaps a little bit harder to figure out uh, is uh, defining the records and then making sure they do not get wiped out. So, so you can go to the database. Um, in here, in, right now it's in data view, it could be showing schema view. In schema view, on the table, I'm doing a right click and saying edit table properties. In here, uh, should not have this check mark because if it's check marked, then it deletes all the records. In which case, the equation function would have a problem. It will not be able to find the records that it's supposed to read and write into. And so, so you want to leave that off. Um, also, you want to define records. So, so when I was doing the data view, in the data view, if you go in here, you can define how many records you want to have. So that's where I define that I want to have six records. So that way it will always have six rec six records and it will every time I run uh, with these five runs, it will write the first five rows 
and then the equation block will uh, make sure to write uh, the averages in the sixth record. So, so that's how uh, this has been set up. Um, I hope this will help you find uh, or understand the use of equation block to read and write from database in extension.